Hello everyone, my name is Amir Hossein and I'm going to present our work about adaptive dynamic sliding mode control of soft continuum manipulators. So today we can design and build soft robotic arms that can deform continuously like an elephant's trunk to provide a wide range of motions. And the goal of this work here is to figure out how we can control these robots as effectively as possible. So let's say we have our soft continuum arm, and here we want to control it with a model-based control strategy. If we assume we have a precise model of the robot, we can in fact design typical fixed gain controllers so that the arm can track desired trajectories. However, it's usually difficult to develop a model that describes the motion precisely in all the operating conditions. So what usually happens is we end up with an inaccurate model that leads to poor close-loop tracking performance. To resolve this issue, we can design an adaptive control scheme that can tune itself online and guarantee the desired system performance despite having uncertainties. So let's first talk about the modeling of the robot. Our kinematic model assumes constant curvature per segment. This allows us to approximate the motion of the arm using a piecewise constant curvature model. To obtain the dynamic model, use the Euler-Lagrange formulation. Here you can see the equations of motion in Lagrangian form where the damping, elastic, and disturbance terms are also considered. For our model, we assume that every segment has a mass point at the geometric centroid. This is unlike some simplified models that lump the mass at the tip of each segment. As you can see from the plots that show the defector trajectories and the tracking errors, our model response is pretty close to the experimental results, as opposed to simplified models that have a mass at the tip of each segment. And besides being more accurate, our model is also highly efficient. In fact, we can update the dynamic terms much faster than a recent state-of-the-art model. Let's move on to the controller design. Our controller uses a terminal sliding manifold to enhance the transient response of the robots. In addition, we have introduced two adaptation laws. One is for estimating the dynamic coefficients of the robots online, and the second one is designed to compensate for the disturbances that may arise during robot operations. We have validated our approach using experiments with a physical soft robotic arm. Our experimental setup consists of a soft manipulator with this gripper, actuated by a proportional lab manifold, and we use a motion capture system to estimate the shape of the robot in real time. Here are the results for an inverse dynamics control, which we used as a benchmark. For our experiments, we have considered different task space trajectories. The benchmark controller, as you can see, has poor tracking performance, and it oscillates a lot when it's dealing with payload masses. The same experiments were also done with our adaptive controller. Unlike the benchmark controller, the robot is able to track the desired trajectories pretty well, and the tracking performance is maintained even when we added an unknown payload mass at the end effector. In conclusion, we have developed a robust adaptive control strategy and implemented on a physical soft robotic arm. Our controller enables soft manipulators to be used in practical applications, such as pick-and-place tasks involving unknown mass objects.